Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today what we're going to be doing is post-processing the Pinwheel Galaxy on the Zero program on laptop and we're going to be using the data obtained by the Dwarf 2 telescope or you can use whatever telescope it is that you have just as long as you can get the data. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with that now. Let me just fix this on my screen. It has some weird rotation issues right now on my iPad. Just give me one second. Alright, let's press the photo button and open it up. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is fix this. I don't know what's doing that. Okay, uh, the first thing that we want to do is to look for the brightest star in the sky. So let's go ahead and do that now. Having some issues finding them. Uh, you know what? Let me just... Maybe it'd be better if I just point it up at the different direction in the sky. Maybe this will work a little bit quicker for us. Let me just point it somewhere else. There we go. Alright. See, there are brighter stars in the sky here right now. What you want to do is you want to zoom in, you want to press the focus button, and you want to press the plus and minus button until the star is as sharp as possible on your screen. That is when you know that it is focused, when it's just a very small little white dot. So what we're going to do is we are going to switch it to the astro function, as you can see at the top right hand side of the screen, after we have turned it to a part of the sky where there are no more uh, buildings or trees or anything that could obstruct the view of the telescope. So let's go ahead and switch it to the astro function. Uh, where is it there? Right now. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to press the calibration button. And what this calibration button is going to do is it's going to switch the telescope back to the dormant position and reopen it up in an area of the sky wherever you had it pointed at and it is going to take three different photos as you are going to see here and it is going to basically plate solve figure out where it exactly it is in the sky so that you can get a better tracking experience with the telescope so second calculation Third calculation, and it should be done now. Calibration success, yes, perfect. All right, very nice. So now what we want to be able to do is, hold on, let's see, go to feature, and we're going to scroll down until you see M101, the pinwheel galaxy, and we're going to click confirm. Yes, all right, let's confirm that now. And what that's going to do is that it's going to center the object in the middle of your screen after it plate solves. Still plate solving. All right, let's go to tracking now. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to more. And we're going to set our uh, frames to 999 for this video. We're going to go to our settings and set the exposure time to 15 seconds and our gain to 70. All right, after we have that set, we're gonna press the start button and let it take the picture. So here is our stacked image from directly from the Dwarf 2 telescope. Uh, it is not processed yet. This is just all the image put together into one. You can already see some of the details of the galaxy, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the data straight from the telescope and put it now into the computer for more processing in the serial program. Okay, so here we are on the computer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the serial folder and we're going to create a new folder called, uh, let's see what we're gonna name. We're just gonna call it the M101 folder. All right, we're gonna enter that folder and we're gonna actually make four new ones. We're gonna make the first one uh, that one is going to be called light. The second one we're going to make and we're going to call it darks. Another one called bias. And another one called flats. And this is just for the computer to actually know what kind of files it is pulling in order for it to process the image. All right. So now we're going to go to our SD card and take all the files that were in the dwarf two. um, directory and we're going to cut it we're going to paste it once we select it all okay it's a lot of files here we're just gonna cut it 
and we're gonna paste it into the serial folder that we just created. We're gonna go to M101, light, and we're gonna paste it in the lights folder. We're not gonna be using any darks or flats for this image or any bias, it's honestly not really needed. Just wait for that to finish. And because really, honestly, it's for the script for the serial script that we're going to be using, we're, we're not going to use it at all. So we're going to go ahead and open up serial. We're going to have serial beta version 1.2.0. We're going to press the home button and set M101 as our file directory. That is important so that serial actually knows what files it is going to be using. All right, then we're going to go ahead and we are going to click on scripts. Not image processing scripts, and we're going to click on OSB pre-processing without DBF, and that is going to process the file without any darks, bias, or flat files. Okay, so the file stacking is complete. Uh, scroll down just a little bit as you see it was taken in five minutes uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the open button and we're going to click on result.fit and press open again and that is gonna open our stacked image as you see it's completely dark but that is because we not have not done any sort of stretching to the image so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and press auto stretch down here and that is going to stretch the image by itself. It's going to have an ugly green color to it. So we're going to press on the unlink button, which is going to get rid of that color. So unlink it. And as you can see, the colors of the uh, image have been fixed. However, we have still not really done anything to the image. The finalized image, if we save it now, it will still look like that little dark thing because this is just a temporary auto stress. So we're going to crop it, get rid of the ugly field rotation crop that now you see crop right perfect now what we want to do is we want to go to image processing we're going to click on background extraction and we're going to move this to the right okay so what you have to do here is you have to click on parts of the sky that do not have any stars in it basically it's gonna get rid of the darker spots that are on the screen you don't really have to do a lot just do as many as it feels right uh, just gonna go ahead and skip through this real quick Okay, so I'm pretty much satisfied with how many things I have. I'm just going to add a couple more. Uh, really don't need a lot because just a few is going to even out the image very nicely. So let's just finish putting them on. Just a couple more here and we're going to click on apply. As you see, it completely uh, flattened out the background of the image. There's a lot of background noise, but we're going to get rid of that uh when we actually do a correct process of the image so let's go to image processing again we're going to go to remove green noise to get rid of the ugly green tint that's there click on that and we're just going to click on apply as you can see it actually removed a lot of the greenish color which we do not want in the image because that can mess it up a lot uh, and we are going to go to image processing again and click on photometric color calibration we are going to type into the search bar m101 Let's click OK on that. You see the focal settings are 51.7. Focal uh, pixel size is 1.50. And it rotated the image in order for us to be able to see exactly how the photo is supposed to look in space. So we're going to switch it back to linear mode. And as you can see, everything went back to black just as it said it would. We're going to click on image processing and click on generalized hyperbolic uh, stretch transformation. We're going to zoom in into 100 and we're going to click on the far left right there in the middle. It has to be in the middle. That is going to set the symmetry point and we're just going to play around with the little top two bars to try to bring out some of the details of the galaxy. This is really just a test, you know, just like a trial and error type uh, step of this thing. You basically have to do it until you like it. Uh, once you like it, you have to go ahead and click on the right side again in the middle and do the same thing to bring out just a little bit more of the details of this galaxy. This process can actually just take a little while as you're trying to perfect it to how you like it, but we're gonna click apply 
we're going to image process again and we're going to click on uh, noise removal just click apply as you can see it removed a little bit of the noise not a whole lot we'll just go back and forth real quick just you, you there's really not much of a difference but it did help just a tiny bit so what we're going to do now is we're going to have to go back to image processing and we're going to click on color saturation and we're going to click on the amount we're going to set it to 1.0 apply all right that added a little bit more color to it but if you want you can go back and do it all over again just to add even more uh, if you want to add a little bit more color to the stars you can adjust the background factor a little bit just to change the color of the background but only just a very faint amount we're just gonna we're gonna move that around a little bit more see if there's any difference Alright, there really wasn't that much of a difference with it, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and click apply. Uh, and this is pretty much the finalized image, there's not much more you can do for your image. Um, but what we, One thing that we can do is the noise reduction one more time, but uh, other than that there's really not much more you can do. So let's just do one more noise reduction, click apply on that and close that, and that's that's pretty much just going to be your finalized image. If you do not have the StarNet program already installed, so we're just going to save that as a unique file. All right. Well, if you do have the StarNet already saved onto your serial program, you could do is you go to Star Reducing and StarNet Star Removal. And we are going to click on Recompose Stars on Completion and up sample times two and click enable execute i apologize it's going to run starnet this is not going to work if you do not have starnet already downloaded what you have to do to do that is you have to uh, go to the starnet website and download the command version for windows for starnet um, I will do a tutorial on that later if you guys want me to. I can just explain a little bit more of how to install it. I will also be doing a tutorial on how to actually set up Serial if you do not already have it installed. So just let it finish running StarNet. Alright, it's going to open this box just so you, for you to be able to adjust the stars that are in the image. You can make them darker around the edges. You can actually bring out a little bit more detail to the galaxy if you mess with the stretch factor on the left side. And you can also uh, change the fade that is on the stars um, if you mess with more of the bars on the right side here. Of course, once you're happy with how your image looks, you're going to want to press the apply button and that is going to save all of what you did to the image once you are done really messing with everything that you have uh, on the screen. Close that, and that is going to be your finalized image. Let's just save as a unique file again. And we're just going to go ahead and go back to our files app and open those files up again to be able to look at the finalized pictures. This is the starless version. As you can see here, uh, and the beautiful details on the galaxy are very impressive. Here's the one with the stars, but there's a big difference. As you can see, there's a big difference between what we had in the beginning, the stacked version that was given to us from Dwarf. Uh, you would not get the same details if you tried to edit this on your smartphone. Uh, this the stacking it on serial really helped to bring out the details of the galaxy, the bars, the colors. Uh, you could even see another small galaxy in the bottom left corner. So this process really helped out this image a lot. Um, hopefully if you guys had a bigger telescope, a better one, uh, maybe you were able to get bigger, bigger and better details on the galaxy. I really hope that uh, your photos came out very nicely as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be doing another one later on other deep sky objects, how to process those in serial as well. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much for watching.